Hey guys, this is Sridhar from WPWDesign.com. In this screencast, I'm going to show how we can create a testimonial slider in Oxygen. So here I have a page called testimonials. I'm editing this with Oxygen. And um, this page, if you have noticed in the previous screen, is inheriting a template called page in which I've added a header that shows the page title. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is to add a slider element. Inside the slider element, it will have three list items. Okay, and just to speed things up, I'm going to add a testimonial from the library and duplicate it a couple of times, and then we'll drag those uh, testimonials inside each of these list items. Okay, so we've got the first um, slide content. So I'm going to select the second slide and uh, I could repeat the process or what we could do is we can just select this entire uh, div and duplicate it and move it to inside the second slide. If I can get that done. Okay, how about I select the second slide and then move this like that. No, it has gone above. Come on. This is a pain. Seriously, the drag and drop uh, JavaScript library that's being used in this uh, plugin Oxygen is called Dragula and it, it can be a pain sometimes. You can see I still am not able to manage to get this thing inside this. Uh, okay, you know what? I just give up. I'm going to delete this and select that slide and do it the way I've done before. Okay, select the third slide and repeat. Okay. So just so we know that we are dealing with different slides, I'll just um, change this text to say two, and I will go to the next slide and change this change this text to three. Okay. And we'll change this to one. Okay, save it. Take a look at on the front end. And here we have a full width slider of testimonials. We can change the these little circles that appear at the bottom. I think the color uh, by going to the slider element and styling, I guess. Yeah, the dot color can be changed here. So let's change this to say blue. Mm, that's better. Okay, there is one thing that I've noticed when I was doing some testing with this before. If one of your slides has uh, large content, let's say the second one, I'm gonna just uh, copy that text and paste it a couple of times, save it. Go back and reload so notice how this um, the content is not actually vertically centered but if you go to the second slide it looks okay because um, you know the height is adjusted according to the tallest content which is the second slide but if we go to the first one ideally what should happen is that this content should entirely be vertically centered in here and this is not something that we can uh, change in oxygen visually we got to do some little bit of CSS uh, inspection so here I have the div called unslider 
inside that is another tab inside this is the ul which is unordered list and here we have the list item so for this ul which is the unordered list you can see that it has a class called unslider wrap so i'm going to copy that and go to uh, manage selectors add a selector for that and here i'm going to go to advanced layout display as flex and align items center okay so now if i go to the first slide you can see that it is vertically centered okay there you go i hope you found this helpful bye for now